Hey Aaron, it's Aaron, your personal driver, and today we're going to answer the question, should I drive for a TNC company like Uber, Lyft, or Juno? And, um, spoiler alert, the answer is yes. Also, the answer is fuck no. As a side note, my channel has been up for 24 hours and I already have three subscribers. One, two, three. I'm super excited. So I want to say thank you. Specifically to you, mom, and to you, my beautiful wife, Doug. What was that? What do you mean my mom didn't? Well, I know. If she's my mom, of course she subscribed. But you sent her the email, didn't you? Well, if she got the email and she read it, how come she... So if you're going to ask yourself the question, should I drive for a TNC company like Uber, Lyft, or Juno? Okay, TNC, that's just the job description of what you do when you get into your car and you drive around people. So before I can answer, should you drive? you have to know kind of what the deal is, okay? So what you're doing is you're using your phone or tablet with an internet connection to log into an application. The most popular is Uber, I think the best one is Lyft, and the big up and comer right now on the East Coast is Juno. But there are many, and that's by not by any means the only three companies out there. And what you're doing is when you turn it on you are waiting to be matched with an available driver, right? And then that driver pays the app money of which you get a certain percentage. So with Uber, it's 75%. So if you get 10 bucks in fares, Uber will pay you out $7.50, okay? And so what you're doing then is you're driving around other people for money. You're basically like a down low cab driver only trust me, it's way better than actually being in a, a cab driver because there's a flexibility. So the short answer to the question is yes. I think everybody should be on a platform like Uber, right? Everybody, um, no matter what you do. And the reason for that is you don't have to drive, right? So if you sign up and then you never take a ride, it's fine. It doesn't do anything. But there's two reasons why I think everybody should do it. Um, the first is they're paying you, right? So you sign up for Uber and get up to 650. Usually it's closer to like $100, but every market's different, every state's different, every city's different. Some right now in January they're offering up to 650, which is bit normal, bit larger than normal. Normally it's $2,500. Lyft is the same thing. So you sign up for those two companies and you could potentially depending on where you live make $1,000 just for signing up and completing I think it's like 40 rides, somewhere around like somewhere around 40. Okay, even if it's the low end, it's $100. So you can spend a weekend, make $100 from Uber, make $100 from Lyft, and then also you're making money off of each individual ride. So for 12 hours, you know, you could be making somewhere in the long lines of like three or $400 um, just for signing up and then never doing it again. But even if you don't like that idea, it's great as a transitional tool, right? So if you're moving from one place to another place and say you don't have a, your job doesn't start for like two or three weeks, you can be making money on the side to make sure that you can pay your bills and stuff like that. And the opposite is true. So you're moving across the country for a job, it doesn't start for a month, but you've already quit, now you have a month without income, just do Uber for like two weeks before you move. It's amazing. You don't know what's gonna happen. This is the other thing too, is you always wanna have options. You always wanna have a backup plan. So if you're already signed up for Uber and say you get laid off or um, you get mad and quit or whatever the, whatever the thing is that happens, you get fired, you always have it as a backup to make sure that you're never gonna skip on your rent, skip on your mortgage, skip on your credit card payments, right? It's always there. Now the flip side of that is, I also kind of think it's a terrible job to, to do by itself. And what I mean that that is, not that it isn't good, because I love it, it's super fun, and that's like one of my favorite things I've ever done career-wise is drive for Uber. <laughs> one of the favorite things I've ever done career-wise is drive for Uber. It's, it's a great job, it's fun, it's flexible. But if it's the only source of income that you have, it might be a little bit rough. And the reason for that is it's unreliable. It's a service industry job and it varies, right? You can have a great day, great weekend. You can have 
a terrible day and a terrible weekend. I've seen online people post that they made $2,800 in one week. Now, it was like a special promotional period. They don't normally make that much money. Um, uh, at the time, if you referred one of your friends to Uber, Uber would just double whatever you pay you made that week. So the guy made $1,400 in rides, which is still a lot from, from most markets. And then Uber doubled it, right? So that's not normal, but he did one week make $2,800. The flip side of that is my worst day ever is I worked six hours and I made $36. So if you're depending on it to pay your bills and you make $36, that's a rough day, man. That's a rough day. And I used to serve tables. I used to bartend. So I, I've kind of been used to up and down wages, right? Like sometimes as a bartender, you make two, three hundred dollars. Sometimes you make thirty dollars. I just that's part of the job. So if you're not used to that, it could it could be rough, right? Hey everyone, this is my son. I woke him up when I was doing videos. Say hi, Ernest. Hi, Ernest. Say like, comment, subscribe. Like, Say put comments below. Put comments below. One over here now and say. If you guys want to be an Uber, Lyft, or Juno driver, uh, you can click the links to the left hand side and they'll go ahead and take care of that for you. Thumbs up, point. Okay, say bye internet. Bye internet, thumbs up in the comments. Th yeah, thumbs up in the comments, that's right. Johnny, were you supposed to be sleeping? Yes. Daddy woke you up? Yes. Yeah. Now you're doing videos on the internet, huh? Yes. Is it fun? Yes. Tell the people what they want to hear, Johnny. Who's your favorite Avenger? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. All right, bye, Internet. It what? What is? That's so dumb. This is dumb. Why have I chosen to do this? Why did I choose to? This is I'm I am terrible at this. This is a terrible <laughs> idea. There might be nothing dumber. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Well, I should. It's Aaron. Why am I so bad at this job? <sighs> Available TNCs. Sorry, that was my kid downstairs yelling. I think he's done. <laughs>